Okay, so now we're gonna get this head all centered up. Apparently it's all shifted to one side, so these main ones are gonna lock these adjusters in and out. So what we'll do is we're gonna unscrew them, and we can just push those bad boys in. Let's try a little adjustment here. So we should get that guy to move. Pivot out, and we'll get this one. This one back, we'll get this one pushed out. And then what we can do is we can move this whole ram this way, and we can move it this way. So over here, you can't see it that well. There's a little rotation piece, you can see it in the red. So we'll use that to move it over. And it looks like out and it looks like it is all the way adjusted out so what we're gonna do is actually I'm gonna pull that side in and I'm gonna adjust this nut so whenever you guys are using this piece of equipment it's never just one spot where this thing is gonna sit so we'll loosen that up and we can pull this whole head over and kind of get this thing dialed in so this side is adjusted really far out and this one's adjusted in so what i'm going to do is probably set it right here and i like to square the tool off the best i can like right in that area and then i'll tighten it up so now i'm going to run this guy out push it in could go a little bit more it's better so our gap is getting, and I like to have these teeth pretty close to each other because we got to cut all the way down to the, <coughs> the inner lip uh, on the mating surface. So not a huge lip on here either. So anyways, let's keep plugging away. So I'm going to drive this thing in and then I'm close. I'm going to hit there. So I'm going to move this side out. You can see that pretty well. So I like that pretty good. So now I'm gonna drive this in. So once again, this handle next to me here is the one that's driving it in. I like that, that looks really even the tip. You can see the reflection in there. It looks even on both sides. I like that a lot. So I'm just gonna softly tighten up these little retaining nuts, just a little bit. Just so there's a little bit of tension on this bar. Those tips look good, but we'll have to, you know, rotate those every, I don't know, maybe like every 10 to 15 cuts or something like that. And then we'll get a new sharp tip. So they look pretty good to me. So the next step is we are going to turn the machine on and we're going to start our initial, just our pre-cut on here. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to turn this one in until it comes back. So once again, I'm just turning this knob until it hits. Snug that up. Now I'm going to do the same to the other side. I got this kind of this starting line going. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually turn this thing out completely. So I'm running, I'm running that piece on my hip, I'm gonna turn this thing out. And I'm just kinda going, you know, I'm kinda going pretty fast. But I wanna make sure I cut that lip off. You want to make sure that you're scratching both sides so you can see you can see that pretty well so i'm going to roll this camera 
a little bit closer so you guys can see. So I like to go just beyond, and the inside's not quite cutting, so I can just, I have a little bit of room. You can see I've got some room there still, a little hard to see. So I'm going to keep going, but I don't want to go too far to where I hit the hat, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be good like right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this. About, I'm going to do a rough, what's called a rough cut. So we're going to turn this inner dial. Uh, it's got notches on it. So we're going to turn that about one, two, three notches on both sides. One, two, three. And then what we're going to do, once this is all set up, so we've got this set up for rotor feed and then rotor and drum and then rotor feed off and on. So when we're doing the rotor, we don't want this to walk this way. We want this piece to walk back. So I have the feed turned on. I have that off. Let's double check here. And once we engage it, this is just, this is a fixed rotating speed that this thing is going to run at. See it starting to just walk back and do its cut. 